Look up into the night sky, that brilliant point of light, brighter than any star, is Venus. For millennia, we've watched it, named it after gods of love and beauty, and wondered what secrets it hides. Venus is Earth's twin in size and composition, yet it remains shrouded in mystery. Its thick, yellow clouds never part, hiding the surface from even our most powerful telescopes. For centuries, we could only guess what lay beneath. Was it a paradise, or something alien? The clouds reflect sunlight, making Venus shine, but also keep its surface hidden, like a world beneath a murky ocean. This mystery made Venus irresistible to explorers and scientists alike. The urge to see beneath the veil drove us to invent new ways of seeing. We needed to build a machine that could survive the journey and reveal the unseen. It would have to see without light, mapping a world forever cloaked in clouds. This mission would transform Venus from a point of light into a real, tangible place. A world with mountains, volcanoes, and a story written across its surface. The challenge was immense, but the reward was a new world revealed. Venus so close yet so unknowable, became the ultimate test of human curiosity. The story of how we unveiled Venus is a testament to our ingenuity. It's a story of science, engineering, and relentless exploration. And it all began with the desire to see the face of our twin. Before we sent probes, Venus was a canvas for our imagination. Many believed its thick clouds meant a warm tropical world, maybe even a global jungle teeming with life. Science fiction painted Venus as a steamy paradise, with oceans, rain, and perhaps even dinosaurs. This vision persisted for decades, fueled by the idea that clouds meant water and warmth meant life. But as technology advanced, reality intruded. In the 1950s and 60s, new instruments revealed shocking truths. Venus was far hotter than any jungle with temperatures high enough to melt lead. The pressure was crushing, and the clouds were made of corrosive sulfuric acid, not water. The first Soviet Venera probes confirmed this hellish reality, surviving only minutes on the surface. The dream of a lush Venus was dead, replaced by a scorched, poisoned landscape. The pressure was over 90 times Earth's, the surface, a furnace. Instead of paradise, we found a world more hostile than any imagined. Yet the mystery deepened. What did this inferno actually look like? Our curiosity only grew. Venus was no longer a fantasy, but a challenge. We had to see it for ourselves. The early Venera landers gave us brief glimpses of Venus's surface, flat plains under an orange sky, but these were tiny snapshots. We needed a global map. Enter NASA's Magellan mission. Its goal, to map the entire surface of Venus. Named after the explorer who circumnavigated Earth, Magellan would do the same for Venus, by radar. Cameras couldn't see through the clouds, but radar could. Magellan's powerful radar would bounce radio waves through the clouds, mapping the surface by listening to the echoes. Orbiting pole to pole, it would scan Venus strip by strip, piecing together a planetary jigsaw puzzle. The result, the first high-resolution, global map of another planet. This would reveal Venus's true face for the first time in history. The mission was pure exploration, no landings, just mapping. It was a technological leap, giving us radar vision to see through the clouds. The veil was about to be lifted. Venus was finally within reach. Reaching Venus isn't easy. Planets move, and space is vast. Magellan launched in 1989, not on its own rocket, but from the space shuttle Atlantis. Its path wasn't direct, it used a gravity assist maneuver, looping around the sun to save fuel. This cosmic billiard shot let Magellan arrive at Venus at just the right speed and angle. The spacecraft itself was a marvel, built from spare parts of other missions, Voyager, Galileo, and more. Its key instrument synthetic aperture radar, or SAR, to map the hidden world below. After a 462-day journey, Magellan arrived at Venus in August 1990, the crucial moment, firing its rocket to enter orbit. Too short, and it would miss Venus. Too long, and it would burn up. The burn was perfect. Magellan was captured by Venus's gravity. Now in orbit, it was ready to begin its historic mapping mission. Years of planning and ingenuity had paid off. The real work was about to begin. Venus was no longer out of reach. How did Magellan see through Venus's clouds? With radar, like a bat using echolocation, it sent radio pulses through the clouds. These bounced off the surface and returned as echoes, 
The time it took for the echo to return told us the distance, mountains, valleys, plains. But, Magellan's radar did more. Using synthetic aperture radar, it sent thousands of pulses, capturing each patch of ground from many angles. Computers on Earth combined these signals, simulating a giant antenna for sharp detailed images. The brightness in radar images showed surface roughness, not light and shadow. Smooth lava plains appeared dark, jagged rocks and steep slopes appeared bright. By combining elevation and roughness, scientists could finally see Venus's true face. The result detailed three-dimensional maps of a world we'd never seen. Radar turned the invisible into the visible. Magellan's eyes revealed a landscape of astonishing variety. The mystery of Venus's surface was finally solved. Magellan showed us Venus is a world of extremes, the hottest planet in the solar system. Surface temperatures reach 465 degrees Ceres, 870 degrees Ceres, hot enough to melt lead. The culprit, a thick carbon dioxide atmosphere, creating a runaway greenhouse effect. The clouds are made of sulfuric acid, not water, and whip around the planet at hurricane speeds. Acid rain forms high in the clouds but evaporates before reaching the ground. Magellan revealed a volcanic world, thousands of volcanoes, vast lava plains and some of the largest volcanoes in the solar system. Evidence suggests some volcanoes may still be active today. The surface is a dry, rocky desert. No water, no life, just heat and pressure. Any spacecraft sent to the surface is destroyed in hours. A day on Venus is longer than its year, and the sun rises in the west, setting in the east. The planet rotates slowly and backwards compared to most others. The landscape is alien, mountains, domes, and endless plains of solidified lava. Winds rage above but the surface is eerily calm. Venus is a world transformed by its own atmosphere. It's a warning of what happens when a planet's climate runs wild. The Magellan mission turned Venus from a mystery into a world of wonders and dangers. Our twin planet is both fascinating and forbidding. Its story is a lesson for us all. Magellan's map stunned scientists. Venus was unlike Earth or Mars. Its surface was surprisingly young, with few impact craters, suggesting a planet-wide resurfacing event 500-800 million years ago. Massive volcanic eruptions may have buried the old surface, creating fresh plains. Since then, Venus has been quieter, collecting only a few new craters. Magellan found unique features. Pancake domes formed by thick lava, spider-web-like arachnoids, and enormous corona, crown-like structures shaped by rising plumes from deep inside the planet. These features revealed a geology unlike any other world. Most strikingly, Magellan found no evidence of plate tectonics. Unlike Earth's moving plates, Venus's crust is a stagnant shell. This difference may explain why Venus became a furnace while Earth remained habitable. Without plate tectonics, Venus couldn't regulate its heat or carbon dioxide, the result, a runaway greenhouse effect, and a hostile world. Magellan's discoveries changed our understanding of planetary evolution. Venus's story is a dramatic contrast to our own. Imagine standing on Venus protected by futuristic technology. The pressure would feel like being a mile underwater, your suit more submarine than spacesuit. The air is so dense, a feather would fall like a stone. The landscape, a vast rocky desert of sharp dark basalt with no water or life in sight. The ground glows with heat, distant volcanoes and strange domes loom in the haze. The sky is a perpetual orange twilight, no sun, no stars, just a dim oppressive glow. Silence dominates, broken only by your suit's hum. Winds rage high above, but the surface is calm, the breeze as hot as an oven. Every feature is a warning a monument to a climate gone wrong. Venus is a stark reminder of how delicate planetary balance can be. Visiting would be awe-inspiring, but terrifying. It's a world cooked, crushed and choked, a lost paradise. Our sister planet took a very different hostile path. Venus is both a marvel and a cautionary tale. Why explore Venus? Because it's a cosmic laboratory for understanding Earth. Venus shows how a planet so similar to ours can become so different. Its runaway greenhouse effect is a warning for our own climate future. The same physics that scorched Venus operate here on Earth. Studying Venus helps us understand planetary habitability and our own survival. 
Some even wonder if life could exist in Venus's upper clouds, where conditions are less extreme. Future missions will search for answers, building on Magellan's legacy. Venus transformed from a mystery to a complex world, raising new questions. Exploring Venus is part of understanding our place in the cosmos. In Venus, we see a reflection of our past, our possible future, and the fragility of our own blue